Yes, I mean, we, we looked at fracking very carefully. We looked at it twice, and I started with a completely open mind. I knew nothing about it five years ago, and actually hardly anyone in this country did. Um, uh, and we were satisfied that it can be done safely. It does need a very rigorous regulatory regime, but we're good at designing those in this country. We've got a good record of that. Better, much better than the Americans, actually probably better than the EU as well. Um, uh, so the, 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 from my point of view, w I support fracking because we are increasingly dependent on imported gas. We're, we're buying a lot of LNG from the Middle East and so on. Um, we're lucky we've got Norway, but Norway can't meet all our needs. Uh, we're not, not dependent on Russia at all. Um, so I think if we can get replacement of imports by fracking and, and using the shale gas that we've got here, we don't know how much there is until we do some more drilling. Um, I think that's a good thing to do. Uh, because uh, I think in the next 20 years, we're going to go on using gas. You know, gas is, for the time being, very important. It, it, you know, hopefully, we can get, replace coal completely. Um, uh, I think we can do that all right. Uh, and hopefully, we'll go on seeing a big build-up in renewables. And I'm also a great supporter of nuclear. Um, but I think, you know, unavoidably, for heating and for some electricity generation, we're going to use some gas. So why not use our own if we can? Now, by the 2030s, we may not need very much. I mean, you know, if, if, if we get to what I believe is necessary, which is almost complete decarbonisation of electricity generation. Um, unless we've got carbon capture and storage for gas, we won't be using much gas. But for the next, I would say for the next 15 to 20 years, we do need it. So, so I would have thought by the late 2030s, you won't need to be fracking in this country. But, but for the time being, I think it's, it's better than not doing so. Um, uh, well, well, I mean, I, I, I agree with the Climate Change Committee. I think that uh, it, it is a limited window, uh, unless we've got CCS. Um, uh, and so uh, it'll be for investors to decide whether they think it's worthwhile. Um, I mean, already, you know, investors are looking at the whole issue about stranded assets, so that see what happens with the share, share price of the coal mining companies that have collapsed. Uh, and, and I think, I don't think the government needs to make that decision. I think what the government should do is make it possible. Uh, and if investors want to do it, and if local communities are happy to do it, and I think they should be incentivized to do it, then I think it's okay. Uh, I mean, I, ju I just think it's unrealistic to think we're not going to use quite a lot of gas in the next 15 years. So the question is where it comes from. And actually, I, mean, the, uh, I think it was um, uh, the DEC chief scientist pointed out that, was it uh, David Mackay, that um, uh, the emissions uh, from fracking actually are slightly less than those if you're bringing LNG because the process of li liquefying and unliquefying and so on, uh, it does itself consume energy. So it's marginally better in terms of emissions anyway. But you're right. I mean, th it is a limited window. And if investors think that's too short of time, well, so be it. But I don't think the government needs to express a view either way about that.